Believe it or not, I am making this video at 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that y'all are having a very Merry Christmas. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to create this look right here. I actually did this look in a previous vlog. I think it was the last vlog that I posted and I was going to a Christmas party and I did this look and I mentioned that I was going to create this look in detail for you guys if y'all were interested in that. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, then please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get started. So first I'm gonna be using the Ultra Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And I'm just gonna use this just to spot conceal. I'm definitely going to put it underneath my eyes because that is where I have like those dark circles. And yes, it's probably because I'm up at 2 a.m. But you know what, that's okay. <laughs> Can't sleep, be productive. You could definitely go full coverage with this, but like I said, with my skin, I tend to break out very easily and I find that less is best. So spot concealing just works great for me, especially whenever you have a concealer that matches your skin tone like almost perfectly. So I always forget this up, but I'm going to be putting on the Ultra Beauty Poreless Face Primer. But being that I forgot to put it all over my face, I'm just going to put it on my cheeks and on my nose. Normally I would put this primer all over I just completely forgot about it and I do not feel like going and washing my face and starting over. So we're just going to roll with this and just go with it. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. powder in the shade Fair Light. And I'm just going to put this everywhere. Still can't believe I'm doing this at 2 a.m. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the eyebrow pencil from L'Oreal in the shade it's like in the shade brunette eyebrows are sisters not twins that has been my saving grace for this because i can never get them to look even but they're sisters they're not twins so it works <laughs> so now i'm going to move on to my eyes and i'm going to be using this palette right here and i am like obsessed with this palette i use it for like almost every single look that i do just gonna be using a fluffy brush and dipping into this color right here at the far corner and i'm just going to use this as my transition shade and i'm gonna go heavy with it because i want this to be a heavy look I'm also gonna really focus this on the inner corner as well and just kind of in this area so now I'm going to take a slightly kind of denser brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. It's like slightly darker and I'm going to focus this just on the outer corner along with on the lid area, kind of like the half of the lid, I guess you could say. I'm going to take an even smaller brush and I'm going to dip into this darkest brown shade right here. And this is what I'm going to focus my edges with. And this is what's really gonna make it nice and smoky. I know it looks like really messy right now, but we're gonna clean it up, like I said. So I'm gonna go back to that brush, um, back to the middle brush, and I'm going to dip into this color yet again to help soften these harsh lines and to add a little bit more warmth to this look. And I'm just gonna kind of put it more so on the lid, but really focusing it on the crease. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to be adding some glitter and I'm gonna be using this one from e.l.f. It's just a, I don't know, like a glitter stick thing. <laughs> it's actually my sister, she let me borrow it, but it's just so pretty and it's gorgeous whenever you put it on. It's just so pretty and sparkly and I'm just like, yes. So I'm just going to put it all on my inner part of my lid right here. It helps whenever like you're looking down at an angle, but also lifting up your head a little bit to get that nice arch. And I also have hooded eyes, so I don't know if that like helps or anything. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> just gonna let that kind of dry for a second. Then I'm going to take the fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into this first color right here. And I'm just going to lightly fix these edges right there. Guys, I can't find my eyeliner. I know I had it. I used it 
it like the other day. Okay, so the eyeliner I normally use is kind of like a stiff one and I cannot find it for the life of me. So I'm just going to use this eyeliner from e.l.f. And by stiff, I mean like, you know, those eyeliners that are like a pencil kind of almost and how like this one's more like a paintbrush. So I haven't used this eyeliner in a while, but it should still do the trick. So <laughs> wish me luck. I'm horrible with wings, but I'm just going to create a wing. I don't like that point, but we're going to work with it because I'm horrible at making wings and this is really good. <laughs> now the tricky part, trying to notch it up on this side. Okay, I forgot how much I love this eyeliner. I think I ran out of eyeliner. Huh. Go figure. <laughs> so the next step is I'm going to be using an eyeliner pencil. I'm going to do it all around. Okay, you know, I'm gonna do this part off camera because it's kind of hard. Okay, so now I got that part finished. What's next? You would think that doing your makeup at 2 a.m. in the morning, you would have like great like memory of just like what you want to do and just I'm drawing a complete blank here. What is next? I'm guessing it's mascara. I don't know. We're gonna roll with it. So first I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this eyelash curler that I got from... I think Ross? Can you tell I'm a little delirious? <laughs> so I'm just going to curl these eyelashes. Curling my eyelashes, I never realized how much of an impact that it makes. I really want to get like lash slips. I think that's what it's called. Um, because I find that my lashes are pretty long, but they're like straight. They always stick straight out, you know? And I want to get a lash lift. Be oh, by the way, I'm using the Falsies um, mascara from Maybelline. I really do want to get like eyelash extensions because I think that would be so awesome. Not necessarily to make my lashes longer because like I said, I do like the length of my lashes. If they were a little bit longer, yes, that would be nice, but it's more to have the fill look. But really the purpose that I want to get them is so that I don't have to like do makeup because I never do like super dramatic makeup anyways. It's like only for special occasions. So I would love to have like those eyelash extensions so that I don't have to worry about doing mascara because that's like the only thing that I like doing anyway. But yeah, if you guys have like have any recommendations for like lash lifts, please let me know because I've heard stories of like, oh, this was great. But then I also heard stories of, oh, this was bad. So if you have an experience with it, please comment down below. Let me know because I'm very much on the fence about it, but I think it's something that I do want to get done. I so I want to know if it's like worth the investment, if you know what I'm saying. Woo! Got something poking me in the eye on this side. Woo! Oh my goodness, something is poking me in the eye. I have to fix this. Woo! Oh my goodness. I don't need to be crying. No! Woo! I don't know what that was about. <laughs> I think that's it for the makeup. Okay, no. So now, now I'm going to take the glitter from e.l.f. again, and I'm going to put it in my inner tear dot I think is what it's called stick it right there oh man I completely forgot to do my guys never do your makeup at 2 a.m. in the morning just so you know <laughs> I forgot to do my under under lash line okay so I know I already put mascara on it but I'm just gonna kind of run this brush underneath just to add a little something something I didn't dip it into anything this is just the leftover Whew. And this is the one that I dipped into that middle shade brown, not the darkest brown. And then I'm going to use this one, which was for the darkest shade. And I'm just going to do it again. I'm not dipping, just using whatever's left over. And I'm just going to do it on the outer corner right here. Okay, I can live with this. Now I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to dip into the shade right here. It's like the lightest shimmer color. It's like the lightest shimmer color that they have in this palette. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone up here. Also going to take that same color and I'm going to dip it just like right on my inner tear dot just to make my inner corner pop a little bit more like that. 
Now I'm going to take the fluffy brush. I'm just going to run over everything. Make sure that it is nice and blended. I also, I don't know if you guys do this, but I take the back of whatever makeup brush I'm using and just kind of help press. I mean, I know I could use the eyelash curler, but anytime I do that, my lashes come together. Does y'all do that? So I like to sometimes give them a little more lift, so I would do this. Okay, so now it's time to do the lips, and I had two products that I was using, but I lost one. I think it's in the car, but I'm too lazy. I don't really want to go look for it. So I'm just going to be using this one. I think it's from Kiss, and it's called Plump and Juicy, and it's called the Pucker Upper Lip Gloss. It's in this beautiful red shade. Ooh, did I drip? I don't know if I did or not. Just going to put this everywhere and it's supposed to help like plump up your lips. Like it has some type of formula in it that makes it, oh no, you've heard of those like lip glosses that help like plump your lips. That's what this is, but it's just a colored one. Ooh, I had to check for a second. I was like, am I even recording? And now for the final touch, I'm going to add some highlight. And yes, you guessed it. It's dun da da da. I'm going to be using the Lumi highlight from L'Oreal. I still have not found a better highlighter than this one. I mean, it just does the job so beautifully. It looks so dewy. It's just my absolute favorite highlighter and it has been very hard for me to find another one that works this good that I love this much. I mean, just, just look at that, look at that glow. I'm not doing any bronzer or anything just because I already have a lot going on. So I'm just going to put this highlight, which kind of doubles as a blush as well. So win-win. <laughs> and voila, this is the makeup look. And uh, I absolutely love this makeup look on me, y'all. And if you made it this far, I would like you to leave a comment down below on what your favorite Christmas song is because I absolutely love Christmas. I love Christmas songs and I would absolutely love it if you would comment on my video, let me know what your favorite Christmas song is. And I promise you, I will give it a listen if you comment it. I'm talking way too much about Christmas songs now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you're having a very Merry Christmas. Give it a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can join our little growing YouTube community. You guys are awesome. I love y'all. I really hope that y'all are safe and well and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Whew. What time is it? Hey Alexa, what time is it? The time is 3 a.m. Okay, so now it is 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm just gonna go wash this off and I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, everybody. <laughs>